previously, the arrival of three legendary housemates, Trevor, Layla and Drew, whipped the house into a frenzy. But it was Sam and Drew's undeniable chemistry that set tongues wagging. So they would go well kissing with each other, like same height, no problem there. Then Big Brother went old school with the return of house nominations. Oh, 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 oh. With guaranteed safety from nominations on the line, Challenge Beast Joel finally met his match as 54-year-old grandmother Lara claimed her first victory. With each housemate having the power to nominate, the OGs joined forces. I do have to make sure that our votes are coordinated. I'm not letting them take my crown. Oh, I love it. <laughs> when it came time to nominate, the new generation were not backing down. Today, I'll be nominating Drew. I would like to nominate Layla. And OGs, Layla and Drew, found themselves up for eviction. But a tie between Mel and Joel saw a pillow flip decide their fate. Which side's what? Which side's what? Well, the pillow said Mel. And Mel became the final housemate up for eviction. Well, what am I on for a nomination if I'm so nice? But tonight, in the first ever Second Chance Challenge, which of the nominees will win, leaving just two facing eviction? This is Big Brother. Who wins? You decide. So, bend over, swing, and then you, as you push with your bum, like you... Tell me if I'm doing it right. Yeah, now thrust, thrust. <laughs> oh, God. It's day eight in the Big Brother house. Push it out. Good morning, Johnson. Oh, I slept so well. And Drew has caught the eye of intimacy coach Sam. Be careful, I've done something to my neck. And has her grinning from ear to ear. Good morning. Good. Do you know how to give massages? Can you please? <laughs> I think because I, I slept with a V for my pillows, and I think maybe my neck was up on one and down like here. Like I can't go. You two make than a that. good couple. Can you not? This we're in a game right now. Oh, sorry. No, I, I realised <laughs> you wouldn't then. But you guys are a really attractive couple. You'd make good kids. I make him look better, do I? Thanks. You are a really attractive couple. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a missus? No. You'd make a beautiful couple. Like, stunningly beautiful couple. I don't care for music or art. I like humans. I think that humans are the best things in the world. Oh, really? You guys are a really beautiful... You should become a couple. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not... Jeez. Is it both ways? Yeah, it kind of goes up my neck here. I don't know. Do you know anything about muscles? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stand on this side. Oh, like all through here. Now you're gonna go harder. And then go to the right a bit. Go to the right a little bit more. That way. <laughs> Up. I love it. I love romance. I love when people start to fall for each other. If you go up just a little bit more, this is... And then that way a bit more. And you just see them just crumbling their little walls down between each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. It's nearly there. And then when they finally see it... Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> That's the spot. Oh. <laughs> Just beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's it right there. In the barrel. Oh. All housemates.
please head to the lounge. Here we go, something's happening. What is going on? Um, oh, someone smells like bubble gum. I'm kind of worried now. Mm, should be. We're going to have more to a wrestle. Hello, housemates. Big Brother understands it can be difficult adjusting to moving into my house, living with new housemates, and following my rules. It's no surprise that housemates may become annoyed, frustrated, suspicious, or even exasperated at times. Dave, how hard is it living on rations? I'm fine with it, bruh. <laughs> what about coffee? I'm fine. This, this coffee thing is a joke. It's actually, it's, it's getting ridiculous. It's an oh and issue. It's a normal part of being a human. You get a coffee in the morning. Like, that's just a normal thing. Like, you, you, you're supplying us with porridge. I mean, Christ almighty. <laughs> I only have one joy in my life, and it is coffee. And that's what I need, is coffee. Big Brother can see that there are definitely some frustrations bubbling beneath the surface. Therefore, Big Brother would like to give you all the opportunity to have a good, old-fashioned vent. Okay. Today, Big Brother will be opening up the break room, where you will find... The venting machine. Venting machine. Oh. Venting machine. Oh. Venting machine. Venting machine. You mean up here? A venting machine. So you take a break and you can vent. You can tell the machine how you feel. Correct. <gasps> the venting machine. Oh, venting. venting. All you need to do is stand in front of the venting machine, let out all your inner angst, rage, and frustration, and in return, the venting machine will dispense some kind of reward. I've got a lot of pent-up anger. Oh. The bigger and better your vent, the greater your reward. Lolly, I've got this. You've got this. Angry little man can come out to play. Do you all understand? Yes. The break room is now open. You will find the break room at the end of the hallway on the left. Thing. Oh, oh, this is so oh. cool, man! You you do it first, Dave. Close the door. Close the door. I close the door. You go first. I'll wait. Oh my God, this is brilliant. Can you hear me, Dave? Oh, God. Yes, big brother. Please use my venting machine to get any gripes off your chest. What does it just come out? Dave, the way this machine works. You must vent in order for it to dispense. It's a hard knock life for us. I really, 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 really need coffee. Give me coffee. <laughs> oh no, he's punching the machine. Hey! hey. If you give me coffee at 7 a.m. every morning, I'll be the best you've ever seen. I will not say bad words ever. He has got anger issues. I'll be pleasant to everyone. And no! Oh, f yes. F yes! Oh, oh, oh my god. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my goodness. Oh yes! Yes! Oh yes! Yes! I'll be pleasant all day, every day. I'll say nice words. I'm not gonna swear anything. The worst word I'm ever gonna say is <laughs> Oh, yes! Bugger is gonna be the worst word, it's gonna be I'm gonna say oopsie daisy! Oopsie 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 oopsie
country. Brother, I need power. I've been hungry for an hour. It's not that good. You just put a few words together. Can I get some food? I'm not in a good mood. It's just dumb. Lettuce? It's spinach. If you ate your greens, you'd know that. Ugh. Anything else been bothering you? I'm sick of Drew already getting cosy with Sam. It's obvious there's something going on there with those two. I've got a tan kini. So I've got this, you know, those bikinis that are literally nothing. It's just like... I need to shave. Can you not it's look like there? It's like the second night he's been in here. I'm sick of Drew's snow peas. Is that all you got? Oh dear, wet floors are so annoying. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know how to eat right now. Is that the only thing grinding your gears? Oh, what's grinding my gears is the fact that I'm up for nomination. <laughs> well, let's hear it. Ah! Ooh, it's not many good chips. Love that. You didn't think I had that in me, did you? Coming up... I can clean up after myself, Lara. The housemates rage. <laughs> <laughs> then, a second chance to save their skin. In a gut-wrenching challenge. <laughs> oh, I can't even watch this. <laughs> hold, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Three new arrivals means there's now 17 housemates sharing limited rations. Where does the coffee go? Have you the got more... sugar as well? No, no sugar. Luckily for them, Big Brother has a way to turn frustrations into food. Housemates, the break room is currently free if anyone needs to vent. So today, Big Brother unveiled the venting machine. <gasps> Not vending machine, venting machine. Gabby, has anything been bothering you in my house? I am sick of Lara's cooking! She should not be in the kitchen, full stop. She should not be near any of the food. All it does is come out like mush. Oh, oh my God! The venting machine doesn't accept coinage. I'm It accepts your gripes. So sick of these whinging, annoying, bloody housemates talking about their coffee! After eight days in the house... What about us tea drinkers, huh? You have a lot to vent about. Shut up about the damn coffee, you stinking girl! Ah! I want more! Dave sucks! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, but it's not enough. Give me more. Give me more. Please give me a double bed, big brother. <laughs> I want a double bed. Big brother, there's one thing on my chest and I've been meaning to get it out from the moment I came in here and I've been treated like an absolute child. I'm sorry to hear that, Johnson. Please pray tell. And it starts with Lara. Just because you've got four children, you don't need to treat me like a child. I'm not a child. I can clean up after myself, Lara. I don't need you to clean up after me. I know where I've left my undies. I know where I've left my towel. Stop it. I don't need you to tell me where I've left my towel. These don't even belong out here. These belong on the bed. You got that? Johnson. Now, when you tell me where I've left my towel, what you're doing is you're being passive aggressive. Why do they leave all this shit here for us? No, no. Don't be passive aggressive. Be aggressive. Johnson, there's some chocolates. Just tell me to pack my shit away. Just pack me to clean my clothes. Just tell me to clean up after myself. Johnson. Yeah, you see it, you pick it up, move it. Johnson. Put it into the kitchen, put it into the laundry. I don't care what you do with it. 
Just get rid of it! Take a breath, Johnson. Probably not the best time to ask this, but are you going to pick up all that chocolate? Why don't we get Lara right here to pick it up? Because they said to me to pick it up every day in this place. I don't need you to tell me. You think I'm some kind of joke? Give him some space, Lulu. I think he's going to be you a think while. You can march around the place, move your cups around. Oh, who's oh this? my God. Oh, who thinks this? I don't care. Housemates. The venting machine is now closed. Oh my God! Congratulations, Johnson, dude! Big Brother's venting machine seems to have done the trick. Look how much you got! With all those frustrations off their chest... What were you screaming about? Oh, it's personal. The house is in a much calmer, sharing and caring mood. You look like a Las Vegas magician sometimes. Oh. You so do. Where's your tiger? I'm never... Oh, I'd love a tiger. I want a girl to win. Yeah, and I, I said that to BB, I want a girl to win. Reggie's the queen. Do I have to talk to her, talk to her legacy? Yeah, just keep going. Yeah. I've always won it too much. <laughs> Back in the spa again. Wow, deja vu. Is this going to be like a nightly thing? Yeah, yeah. it can be a nightly thing. Yeah. Hope shower. <laughs> How'd you hear the double bed? Tell me. You heard me. Yeah. <laughs> Joel, how are you and Alicia getting along? I have been definitely enjoying uh, spending a bit of time with Alicia. She's got a beautiful smile and I am a sucker for blue eyes. You know, um, she seems to have a lot going on. Uh, you know, she's gorgeous. That's no, so you just be funny, I wasn't, it wasn't serious. Yeah. That's what it was. <sighs> sure it was. I'd be having a double back, absolutely. Sounds serious. Yeah, I definitely feel that, like, we have a fair bit in common. It's kind of nice. I'm keen to do more of it. <laughs> What's that? Mm. Is that yours? No, miracle hair treatment. Oh, maybe it's um, Johnson's. Because <laughs> he's come bold. <laughs> This is Big Brother. The lights will be turned out in five minutes. Somebody's going home tonight, and it might be you, Drew. It's day nine in the Big Brother house. It's like gladiator today. It is. It's fight for your life, it's dude. <laughs> today, the three nominated housemates face off. I love it. In the second chance challenge. Oh, I'm kidding. Stay a big day. I know. Morning, Tim. Morning. Morning. Mel, Drew. You should do all right. And Layla will compete to win safety from eviction. No. 
gonna be such a big day. But lacking a little brawn, Layla and Mel are panicked. Drew will win the challenge. I think he might, so that's fine. Yeah. Am I safe? Do you reckon against Layla? I really don't know. Mel, how are you feeling about going into the second chance challenge today? Yeah, I, I really don't think I can win the challenge. But I do want to stay here as long as I can. So I've just got to recharge, channel what I'm about, which is kindness and joy and fun. So what's your favourite song? <laughs> you know, like, show people that I love being here and it's my happy place. I went to the shop. What did you buy? You know, like, really fight for myself. Feeling right? Mm, iffy. I think it's gonna be anyone's game. I don't think it's gonna be like Drew, Drew, Drew for you know what I mean. Mm. We've got this. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Good morning, Layla. Good morning, big brother. How were you feeling this morning? A bit iffy. Ooh. Talk to me about a bit iffy. A bit iffy means I am um, getting nervous for the eviction challenge. Why so nervous? Logically, if Drew wins the challenge and it's me and Mel against each other, chances are I, I could go home. Why would you think that? Because I got the, the highest number of nominations. That's understandable. Tell me, who do you think has your back? I think the OGs will keep me safe. Where everyone else is at, <sighs> this is where it gets tricky with the newer housemates. I think, I don't know. I don't want to go yet. I don't want to go. Just starting, I'm just getting started. I think this early on, everyone wants to stay, but I need to win the challenge. It's the only way I can secure my place still in the house, still in the game. I really am not ready to go, and I feel like I found my place in the house. I'm getting nervous now, and I could honestly do well in this. And it's not just Layla with the game on her mind. Leader of the newbies, Joel, is determined to show the OGs who's boss and doesn't want a nervous Mel straying to the other side. Morning, Mel. How are you going this morning? Well, I haven't been this upset the whole time I've been here. I know. I can, I can feel it. That's me to see you like this. See what happens today. Yeah. I really don't know how to play the game. No, no, because I... I just that, want to be friends with everybody. That's like a level of vulnerability that makes you a target. Yeah. Has anyone from the other side said, like, we will we'll save you? Not really. Exactly. We have. Yeah. We have. Yeah. And that's the difference. Yeah. There's 17 people here. Uh, nine people makes the majority. Yeah. If we have nine people on our side, we have enough power to keep our nine together. Yeah. And that's why when people go into the eviction room and they change their mind halfway through because mm. someone's been very cunning and influential. Yeah. That's what stirs yeah. the pot. Yeah. And we know who does that. You know, Tim's a smart guy, but if you stay doing what you're doing now, mm. you'll be safe. Okay. And you'll help save us. Okay, but win the challenge, because I really, really. No matter need what, you're staying. Some confidence, right? Now. No matter what, you're staying. Okay. It's a fancy jacket, Joel. Thank you, it's my morning jacket. Wear it every morning. Tell me, what are your thoughts on Tim? Um, Tim is a tricky one. Do you think Tim is a danger to your game? Yes. Tim's a very, very smart player. He's a huge threat. How do you think today will play out? Today, I believe Drew will win the challenge. And if Layla were to win today, or Mel, then Drew's going home. So he needs to win this to stay in the game. If it's today or next week, we will get him out of the game. And once he goes, 
The next move is to squeeze Tim out. So last time you were on Big Brother, did you light a few fires to stir the pot? Stop talking in metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> when we do that, it's just going to all come crashing down on the OGs. We will be in a very powerful position. We'll essentially take over the game. You seem rather certain. Yeah, we have the numbers to make that happen. Oracle Joel. <laughs> oh, I could do like a really like cute little... Did you vote for Joel the other day? Um, when the, um... The three votes. When we all had to vote? Yeah. I'm not saying he voted for him. It was you. There was some from our group. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> That's a big sigh there, Tim. Yeah. <sighs> oh, there is a lot going on this morning. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on. There's always a lot going on in your house, big brother. You seem a bit worried after that chat with Alicia. Oh. Well... Joel's the sort of person that if you take a strike out, you don't want to miss. And I am worried about my bro, Drew. I think they'll target him. What are you hoping happens today? I'm hoping Drew wins the challenge. He has to. It's his best chance of saving himself. It'd suck if Drew went home. It really would. One, like, I want him in here as my mate. But two, like, I think he's a, a great asset um, to have as... In, in an alliance because he's he's strong. He's a strong player. And who are you hoping will go home? Mel. Mel to go. Like, numbers matter. Wait, who was seeing Big Skin Baby there? Oh. This is Big Brother, Layla, Drew, and Mel. It is time to face off in Big Brother's second chance challenge. I know the J Crew catalogue want me out of here. I'm going to go in there. All pistons firing. I hope I just smash it. I hope I leave them in the dust. And yeah, cruise into the afternoon, not having to worry about tonight. That'll be good. Melanie. How are you feeling about the challenge? Yeah, a little nervous, because I just don't know what to expect. But yeah, the only way is up. I've got to bring my A game. Little Miss Sunshine, I'm in yellow today. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. I've got this. I have 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 got this. I need to win. I need to win. I want to win. I want to win so bad. Otherwise, I'll be going. Big Brother. <gasps> Hello, housemates. Hi, Hi Big Brother. Drew. Yes, Big Brother. Are you relieved to have a second chance to save yourself? I'm a bit stressed. This, uh, there's a lot on the line. If I don't pull this off, I think it could be curtains for me. So thank you for the chance. It sounds like it's time to fight, Drew. Absolutely. Layla. Yes, Big Brother. How does it feel to be competing against Drew and Mel? I am very nervous. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be real hard. Mel. Yes, big brother? How much do you want to win today? More than anything. I'm gonna dig deep. I'm gonna give it my all. Well said, Mel. Well, housemates, 
We're about to find out which one of you can rise to the top. For today's challenge, your goal is simple. Be the first one to retrieve your flag hanging from the bar above. In order to reach your flag, you must stack a series of large discs on top of each other before climbing up and leaping off to grab your flag. But beware, housemates. The higher your stack, the more unsteady it becomes and the harder it is to climb. If your stack falls over at any point, you must start over. Be the first to claim your flag and you will be safe from eviction. Winning has never been more important than it is today. So play hard. Okay, housemates. On my command, this challenge will commence. In three, two, one, let's play. You must use your stack to create a ladder in order to achieve a leap of faith, housemates. Drew making fast work already. You got this, Drew. Drew charges ahead. Yes, Drew. Go, Layla. Layla takes a slow and steady approach in this challenge. It needs to stay balanced. Will it pay off? Go on, Layla. It's just a piece of luggage, Mel. It's just a piece of luggage. Mel struggles with her discs. Come on, Mel. <gasps> Those discs are not light, housemates. Come on, she's gotta, she's gotta go, she's gotta go. Drew leaving the pack. You got this, Drew. It's gone good, Drew. Drew successfully places his eighth disc. Drew has eight discs stacked. Mel with five. And Layla with six. Drew checks his stack, making sure it's stable. Mel and Layla trying to catch up. I just seen where I'm going. I'm just recentering. Yeah, you got plenty of time, mate. Layla hoping that slow and steady wins the race. So I need to counteract my weight. Come on, Layla. The top two, Melanie, I think you've put the wrong oh. one on. Mel drops a disc and loses her call. Save the tower! Come around! Fall. That's it! You're still in this, Mel! Come on! Drew now moves with his second last disc. Table, Drew! The higher you build, the more precarious this stack becomes. Slow. Yep, yep. Drew is only one final disc away from completing his stack. Yeah! Easy on the way down! Layla attempting to stack her seventh disc. <laughs> Layla now starting to struggle. Drew now moves with his last disc. Hey, slowly, slowly. This is a very precarious climb for Drew. We got this, Yep, yep, it's steady as. Drew places his 11th and final disc. He now must climb to the top and take a leap of faith to collect his flag and secure the win. Oh, I can't even watch this. The higher you get up that stack, the harder it is to balance. Oh. It is one thing to build the tower, but getting to the top is a whole different game. One wrong move and your stack could come crashing down. Here we go. That's it, brah, yeah, brah. Oh! Oh, 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 ah! Ah! Drew attempts to collect his flag and his entire stack comes crashing down. Layla is now in the lead. That's it, I am the prize, Layla. Come on, Mel. <laughs> Mel's still trying to work out just how to build this stack. Yeah, girls, keep building. Layla's attempting to place her ninth disc. Can she work it out? Come on, Layla. Good girl. Yes, Layla. And 
Kayla places her ninth disc. Drew furiously rebuilding. He knows what to do this time. Drew places his ninth disc. Nice work, Drew. Layla about to place her final disc. <laughs> and Drew places his tenth disc. Leveling the game with Layla. Oh my god. Drew now moves with his last disc. But does he trust his stack? Layla progressing slow and steady. About to place her final disc. Come on, Layla! Layla and Drew are now neck and neck. That's good, Layla. You're looking strong. Both attempting to place their last disc. This is a real nail biter, housemates. Amazing. Layla places her 11th and final disc. Come on, now. Keep going up. Drew places his 11th and final disc. Both Drew and Layla have placed their final disc. It's a race to the top between Drew and Layla. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Layla starts to panic. I'm shaking. Layla's fine, keep breathing. Layla nearly loses it and steps down. Sis, you're right there. You're right there. You've got this. It's so hard. I know. It's going to be harder on the vision chair. <sighs> Drew starts his ascent. Wait, it's coming over this way a bit. Stop, stop, stop. Drew almost at the top. Oh, 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 oh. oh, no! oh. And Drew's stack falls down once again. Layla! What? Keep going, Drew, dig deep! <sighs> Layla now has a huge advantage. One step at a time, darling. Slowly. Very good. That's it. I feel like I'm gonna fall. You're not. If you fall, you're safe. It's scarier than it looks. Fear taking a hold of Layla. Oh. Layla, this is the difference between you going home tonight and you hey, staying. Everyone just, everyone just. Everyone just. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, she's gonna get it. She's gonna get it. Oh, big brother, I need a wine. What sort of wine would you like, Layla? I want a cup south. <laughs> I like that Good. she's smiling. Now. One step at a time. Yeah, Layla, take your time. Layla now completely at the top. All she needs to do is stand and take a leap of faith. Yes, Layla. One wrong move from Layla will open the door for Drew. You can do this, Layla. You've got this. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Come here. Looking so well. Oh, God, you're, you're, you're a legend. You're, you're amazing. amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh, so yeah. Wow. Still. Still, can I? Yeah. Please, thank you. Hi. 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 That was ridiculous. Oh. A little silver rat. Oh. Hey. That was so oh, that was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, but you did it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Helmet. Oh, I can't breathe. Congratulations, Layla. Thanks. That's my first ever challenge! My first ever challenge! 
Your first ever challenge win. Yeah, in 10 years. Mel. Drew. Yes, big brother. One of you will be evicted from my house tonight. Yeah. Big Brother suggests you use your afternoon wisely and do whatever you can to convince your housemates to keep you in the game. Good luck, housemates. Thank you, Big Brother. Thank that you, is brother. all. This is perfect. Now, Drew will be going home. Once he goes, that will essentially scatter the OG. Solid challenge. Man, that was a big effort, eh? Oh, so crazy. I'm proud of it. Seriously, you did amazing. Just rest, rest. The pressure's off. God, I'm so off. proud of you. Oh, so hard. Honestly, seriously, you did so well. Look at me right now. Don't scramble with me, I've got your back. Scramble. Don't worry. I got her back, so don't worry. Fight for other people. Let's go. Hectic. Coming out of nominations challenge and seeing, you know, Layla take the win. That was the hardest thing I've ever done. To me, this is a perfect opportunity because now we can get rid of Drew. This sucks. This blows. But Lulu and Gabby are quite dangerous. Can swing the votes either way. Gabs, you must be in a pickle at the yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah, there's not a strong answer I can give you That's okay. Drew right now. Come here. Yeah. It's a shame that it's fallen this way. Yeah, you and Drew are close. Yeah, but so but are you and I. Gabby's gotten quite close with Drew. This is the worst outcome. He's played the game before. He's had his time in the house. This is her scramble. Let her scramble. Yeah. And then we have Lulu. The OG saved her from eviction the first time. So hopefully she has our back because we need these numbers. And this is a big, big play that needs to play out well. It's not just picking between Drew and Mel. This is between the newbies and the OGs. And they've got to pick wisely because if they flip, they're going to outnumber us. Come, I can leave. Yeah, and I'll do it better, I promise you. Yeah. Baby, she knows where we sit, so she knows that we're... Mel's going to do whatever I say, so it doesn't matter what she says right now. Oh, but Gabby. That's what I'm saying. And we need Lulu to stay. Lulu's not going to change shit. I just feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick. What about? Talk to, talk to me about it. I just feel sick. I just feel really disgusted. <laughs> so, you still on the same page? I have, I'm, you know, it's hard to to tell the person, sorry, but I would need to be honest, you yeah, know? definitely. It's, it's really hard because it's just... Yeah. We, we think about this, right? This isn't his first experience. He's doing this for the second time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because I tell you what, if it was you or him up there, he'd be gunning for everyone for you. How are you going? What are you thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Why? Well, are you wanting to keep Mel or Drew? I oh, know. I didn't think I'd go like this. I just assumed that... Drew would take the win. Yeah. And I wanted to keep Drew here. That doesn't mean I don't still have that connection with the five of us. Of you, I hate saying you three Js, but it's just yeah. easier. And Alicia as well. Yeah. Well, because, like, you know, it's a tricky situation because, like, we were all one group. Yeah. And if you were to go against that... Where's our trust going to be for you down the track? It's not a threat. Don't, don't think like it's it sounds like a threat, Joel. Well, think about it from my perspective. Jump in my position. What? Right? You need to put work in now to get results later. Like Jack Johnson said, the only currency in this whole game is trust. So if you don't have trust, what do you have? Gabby. Talk me through the decision you have to make. This is a big one. This is a huge one. 
It's a decision between Drew and Mel. Me, Alicia, Taraz, Joel, Johnson, we're all good. There is a complete split down the middle. It's a fight between the newbies and originals of the house. And it's literally just either team trying to grab the people on the fence to pull them on their side. And I'm one of them. Could you? Shall I get the pot? Sorry, let's sneak past you guys. I want the whole pot. It's war. Where's your head up? Look, I'm assuming I'm the final vote, hey? 100%. You're the swing. Yeah, I'm the swing. Hard. Hart is obviously wanting to give Mel a second chance. You'll have me as an ally. I'll never put you up and I'll never vote for you. And if well, you... I don't want you to promise that. No, no, no. That's, this is the game. I don't want to, this is the, I don't want to put pressure on you. You'll have me as an ally as opposed to Mel as an ally. I need, I need it, otherwise I'm going. Yeah. yeah. I have so many strong connections on both sides. It's definitely not how I wanted this to go down. If I vote for Drew, the OGs that I'm connected with are probably not going to want me involved with them anymore. But then if I vote Mel out, then the people that I walked in with are going to think that I'm untrustworthy. This game... Um, this is where I beg. You'll never cop a vote for me until you get to the top ten, at least. God, this is seriously... I'm just putting that out there. I I'll, know. I'll be an ally to you. Did you think they're going to be that loyal for that long? We've got the little click going. Once they pull down the OGs, then they're just going to start chipping you out from the outside. I understand your position, but please understand. No, I know. Like, it's harder than I, th I thought. Lula's out. What do you mean out? She's not out. She's not no. saving you. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lulu is going to listen to you more than me. I don't trust her one little bit. Him, I'm telling you that now. Yeah. One little bit. We saved her. We saved her, but I'm not going to let her get away with it. She has to help save Drew. Lily's saying that she's not going to save Drew. Why? She's afraid that they're going to come after her. No way. Not cool. No, we no, saved no, no, you no, 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 no. And we're working with you. Lily. So, Lulu. Oh, look at you. Just need to be quiet. I'm really worried. You should be worried. Because if you don't do this, we'll come for you. Why are you voting to keep her over Drew? I said I wasn't sure what to do. I told him that I could not commit that. Like, you know that I have a lot of, like, I have a lot of what I have to do for you guys. Honestly, I really do. Jeez, it's amazing. Those that we have saved. Yeah, those that we've all saved. Turned. I'm not turning my back on you. You are going to vote to save Drew? I can't believe it. Like to turn around and say, like, we did you a big favour that first week. Just live with me. Live with what do you mean, leave it with you? Listen, I don't want to talk anymore. Housemates, the eviction ceremony will start in 15 minutes. Drew, at this eviction, who will be in your corner? My corner, I'm fairly certain. I'm hoping I've got all the OGs. I think I should have Sam, but I know it's coming down to the wire. I hate this. I'll put on pretty much two people. I need a killer shot. Yeah, I think I might get a bit emotional if I manage to pull through this one. I definitely don't want to be evicted from the house. Like, this is where I'm meant to be. I'm real. This is who I am. What is not to like? I just can't understand why I would be evicted. I really hope I'm not. I feel like I've got so much love to give.
Big Brother's other home is 7 Plus. Dying to know what else unfolded? Or just need a quick rewind on an episode? Full episodes and lots of extras are streaming for free on 7 Plus. This is Big Brother. It is now time to make your way to the eviction ceremony. Hey, Layla, you may have received the most nominations, but you managed to win your way to safety in today's Second Chance Challenge. Yeah. Tim, you've been reunited with Drew. What I has know. that been like? It was a short-lived bromance if things don't go his way tonight, <laughs> but... I'm feeling for him being in that position tonight. Mel and Drew, after Layla saved herself in the Second Chance Challenge, that left only the two of you in the firing line tonight. Does it feel like the two of you have clear allies? I love this guy. He's a good guy. I, I, I honestly... Like, I care more about people than myself, and that's why I'm in this predicament, because I'm a people pleaser. Drew, do you think that there's a clear divide? Um, look, there is a clear divide, but I'll tell you now that if you don't have connections with the entire house, if you've just segregated yourself to one half, the sharks are going to circle pretty soon from your half. So, Alicia, I've heard about the J Squad previously. <laughs> is it still a thing? No, I don't think it's still a thing. I think once that uh, the cat got out of the bag, they all ran and scrambled in different directions. So <laughs> right. I don't think it's a thing anymore, no. Drew, do you agree with that? Yeah. You do? No, the J squad. I'm lying. You're lying. <laughs> OK. So the J crew lives on. Do you guys hold some sway in the house, J crew? Um, I speak on behalf of the J crew. <laughs> What did I just say? <laughs> the J crew is no longer working together. I like to think that no, there isn't a, there isn't there isn't some crazy alliance going on. It's really I've got connections <laughs> with Lions. <laughs> it's not a lie. No, I honestly Why are you lying? Why? We know. Not, we all you're know. a stirrer. He's just a stirrer. Well, you're part of it. They got a mum. <laughs> They got a mum. That's what they got. I love their boys. They've got a mum. No, yep. She isn't, became the fourth member of the that, J crew. But isn't that, isn't that what it is, though? It's friendships, right? It's friendships. We're it's talking given, about are you voting together tonight? <laughs> yes, we are. I just don't like, like the idea that you'd say I'm a liar. It's not because we're the J crew. It's because we're friends. I'm saying you can't put a label on it because there's more people who share the same vote as me. Also, the J crew is bigger than just you four. Is it's it? not a crew. It's just relationships in the house. Tim, what do you think about the divide in the house? Um, that there is a, a group that's voting together and it feels like some people who are on the outer of that group feel afraid of that group. And if they don't do what that group says, that that group's coming for them. Gabby, how are you feeling about the different groups forming in the house? Oh, it's an absolute nightmare to try and find a place and try and work out who you've got and who's got your back. I can't stand it. But every time I think I know exactly what I'm going to decide, someone else will talk to me, then another person talks to me, and then another person talks to me. Does that mean you're a little bit up in the air with tonight's vote? Absolutely, I'm up in the air. What about you, Lulu? Do you feel loyalty to different people in the house? It's very difficult as well, Sonia, because, you know, I, I made connections with both. You know, you just got to go with your gut and how you feel. So you're not following any particular house divide? 
I'll follow my gut. Follow yeah. your gut. What I'm feeling. Yeah. Reggie, how difficult is this eviction going to be for you tonight? Yeah, another hard one, Sonia. Mm -hmm. Last week was hard and this one's going to be hard too. Oh, Reggie. Oh, Reg. oh, Reg. oh. Sorry. It's going to be real hard. What, why are you feeling emotional about it, Reggie? Oh, cos I don't, I, you know, I don't want... I don't want Drew to go and, and you know, and it's hard. It's, He's a genuine person and there's not many of them in here, Sonia. Thanks, Reg. And um, if I want to be in this house, I would like to be in this house with people who are genuine. And we'll tell it. Like, you can say what you want to us, but we'll say to Big Brother and Australia will see. And you're probably going to send home our first original tonight because you're threatened by him. But let me tell you that there's a lot of people watching that want to see Drew play this game. And you're going to want those people who are watching to vote for you to win. So it might protect you one more day yeah. in this game. But long term, if you're thinking long term, I don't think sending this guy home is your best strategy. Joel, are you concerned if Drew goes home, then the spotlight shifts? Um, yeah, I'd be silly not to think that. Absolutely. I've, um, I've taken away a lot of challenges just recently and um, I've got to keep watching out like, what's going to come next and make my move from there. Gabby, how important do you think tonight's vote is in terms of moving forward in the game? It's crucial. I've already heard that trust is the currency of this house and I feel like whatever decision I make tonight is just going to be a reason, I guess, to decide on which side of the Berlin Wall that I am. So... I don't think it needs think to like be that. picking a sign. It's just saying that you're voting to block a move tonight that, that people you might be working with long term want to make. It doesn't mean that you're choosing to work with the enemy. That's not like, how people see it, Tim. I've already been told this. Yeah, I know it's that's not, not a way how to people live. see yeah. it. I was living in fear. Tim, how hard is it for you to see Drew up there for eviction tonight? Yeah, it's brutal. I, um, I'd be doing him a disservice if I didn't fight hard tonight. Like, I'm, I'm sticking my neck out because he, he's a brother. Like, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have won if it wasn't for Drew. Not because of any gameplay, but because of a relationship. And I knew him coming into this game was going to put a target on both of our backs. But he's a great guy and a great player could be of this game that you could work with. Like, the, the bromance, the friendship that we made in that season, you guys could have that with him. Like, you don't leave a mate behind to get forward in this game. Can I, can I say something as well, sorry, just quickly? And I definitely get that. And I, the reason as well I think why people think, oh, these newbies are all voting together and it's first the OGs is, for me personally, like, no offence, you've played this game. You've had 98 days in a Big Brother house and that is amazing and I know this is a new game. Yeah. But I do feel for Mel having nine days in here and not being able to give it a crack. And personally, that's why I'm voting that way tonight, is compassion, not strategy. What final words do you have, Mel, for your housemates? Well, th I'm so grateful. Like, I've had... Oh, it has been incredible knowing these champions of people. I really want to be here because I want to bring little Miss Sunshine back. And I just want to bring joy. I'm Christmas lights. Look how bright my top is. Tap the bullies away, hey? <laughs> it was my favourite. <laughs> that's, all, that, that's all I can hope for. Drew? What are your final words for your housemates? Why should they keep you safe tonight? Look, I just want to say for everyone that, you know, for all the votes I don't get tonight, I'm grateful. And for everyone that does, look, you're all class, all every single one of you. Like, I've had the best time. I'll miss you all, that's for sure. Gabby, how hard is this decision going to be for you? Have you, have you come any closer to making up your mind? Absolutely not currently. It's still so up in the air. It's driving me a little bit insane, but I think I've just got to 
trust my gut and not be scared of anyone and just go with exactly what I think I need to do. Well, good luck to both of you. Thank you, Sonia. The housemates, the time has come. Mel and Drew, because your votes essentially cancel each other out, you won't be voting tonight. Yeah. All remaining housemates will cast a vote. You will vote to evict either Mel or Drew. Housemates? It's time to vote. It's time to vote. Tim. Hello, Tim. Who would you like to evict and why? I'm voting to try and save one of the most um, genuine guys in here. I want my friend in this house. And so I vote to evict Mel. Reggie. I would like to um, evict Mel. Less drama, more fun, BB. Well, that's why um, I'm voting uh, for Mel to leave the house. Dave. I am voting. I'm voting to evict Mel. This game, first and foremost, is a game of trust, and I have to vote for Mel. Sam. Who would you like to evict and why? I'm voting for Mel. Thank you, Sam. Joel. The person I'll be voting for tonight is a big piece of Tim's plan that I'll be hopefully taking away. Alicia. The person I'm voting for to go home is Drew. Today I'm voting for Drew. JC. Lara. I'm voting for Drew. Lulu. Lulu. Who would you like to evict and why? It's never an easy decision to be made, Big Brother. I have mixed feelings, but at the end of the day, action speaks louder than words. Thank you, Lulu. Thanks, Big Brother. Gabby. Gabby, who would you like to evict and why? I think this might be a pinnacle moment of my game, Big Brother. Oh. Thank you, Gabby. Thanks, Big Brother. Mel and Drew, your fellow housemates, have voted and one of you is about to leave the Big Brother house. One of you received eight votes and the other received seven. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. It's as close as it gets. Wait for thin. Wait <laughs> with eight votes. It's time to go. Mel. I thought so. Oh, it's so, no, it's come here, come here, come here. Come here. It's so no. <sighs> it's so okay. I suck at this game. I suck. So hard for yourself. I just, I just love too much. 
It's so okay. I know. I love you all. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, no. Finally. Finally. No, you are gonna go <laughs> <You> far <laughs> in this game. No, oh. you are. You're my winner. You are my winner. I'm just telling you that. For that, like that was a brave, but clever. What a great group of people that I got to live with. I believe what happened in that eviction is Drew shined his genuine qualities through. And I was going against an original gangster that had Tim, like, pretty much, you know, create a campaign for him. Like, Tim's a powerful man. I need a drink. Do you want to watch me unpack? Yeah, I'll watch you unpack. You look stunning, though. Thank you. I'm actually glad I didn't get evicted because I was going to have to kiss you then leave, so... Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Next week, Jesus. the housemates play dirty oh. Oh. My mouth. as they battle it out oh. to stay on top of the pecking order. I got you. I got you. I got you. Plus, Drew and Sam's romance heats up. I can't stop smiling. There's obviously this desire we want to be around each other. But when Drew's ex flame enters the house, I'm back. It sparks the biggest love triangle in Big Brother history. How are we back here? And someone will get burned. That's Drew's new girlfriend.